Welcome back to the Tax Advisor and Biz Coach Success Podcast. The purpose of these episodes is to help entrepreneurs become more successful, avoid tax and other business headaches. Remember to tune in frequently as we will be sharing tips, secrets, and expert recommendations in how you can manage your finances, improve wealth, and grow your business. Please like, share, and subscribe. Here's your host, Liz Soria. Hi, folks. It's Liz Soria, your tax advisor um, at the Biz Coach Success Podcast. And um, today, as always, I have incredible guests joining me. And one of the things that I really love about this topic that we're going to touch base today is how to invest in residential real estate, but with a coach. Big difference, right? Um, because we hear a lot of, uh, you know, other um, episodes out there about you need to invest and you need to do this and you need to do that. But what about if you had someone who can actually show you through the blueprint, someone who could tell you from A to Z and can guide you through the whole process? Wouldn't that be an amazing experience? Well, believe it or not, I do have a guest um, and he has more than, I believe, 20 years of experience, uh, done more than, I don't know, 3,500, uh, uh, you know, investments. And I have Mr. Peter Boxerman. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Peter. <laughs> it's close enough. It's Peter Boxerman and it is 3,500 plus deals and it is, it is 20 years of experience. Excellent. And Peter, you know, just for the audience to feel, you know, uh, more comfortable with your background and everything else, because you, that's a lot of property. Now, has this always been your, your primary business or did you come from a different background? Because a lot of people feel like when you are successful in real estate is because you started when you were extremely young and maybe this has been your only career and that's why you became a pro. <laughs> so Yeah, no, actually I came out of a totally unrelated business. I came out of franchising industry. I, I started a company. Uh, of a 400 square foot office and uh, a buddy of mine ended up franchising it selling it selling 15 different states um it was a totally unrelated business in the merchant services and then the company just got really too big for me became a corporation i'm not a corporate guy i'm an entrepreneur and then i just sold out of that and one day i was sitting with someone and they gave me this book called deals on wheels by lonnie scruggs and i read it overnight I called the author later. The next morning, I called him up. I said, this is crazy. I don't even know what mobile homes are, but whatever they are, I'm in. Went to see him that week at a seminar. Uh, came back, bought my first mobile home that Tuesday. Three years later, built out probably the, it was the largest brokerage of mobile homes here in Georgia. And wow. the bottom fell out of that business. Literally overnight, the financing fell out. And then this was kind of the natural thing, get into real estate. You know, there's this somewhat of a correlation between mobile homes and, and, and real estate. And uh, here we are 20 years later, you know, killing it. Yeah, interesting, now, very interesting. So it's good that people hear this because a lot of times, again, they always picture in their mind that it's because you've done this from the get-go and they think that this is something you just did from the beginning. So maybe they might not be capable or have the ability to really get into real estate. And again, you know, what's really interesting about having you as an expert in the show is because, again, you, you really, your coaching program um, helps everyone from A to Z. So a lot of times we find that there's a gap between all these coaching programs. So you mind touching base a little bit more in detail, the steps and how you can really help people, especially people who maybe they own their own property. You know, they have the house, they have maybe even more than one property, but they only use it as a vacation home. But they're really thinking about investing money because we know the real estate, well, the reality is it's great investment no matter what, if you do the right investment and with the right people. <laughs> so go for it, Peter. Yeah, you know, and in, you know, I've been investing myself for 20 years, done tons and tons of deals, and I've been in the educational space for probably at least 10, 12 years of those. And, you know, I was a typical guru, and I did what everybody else did, had a very successful educational uh, operation, you know, taught people literally what it is I know, um, but at the same time ran into the exact same challenge that every other guru out there runs into, and that is this. In this business, there's a million miles between knowing something and doing something. So in the end, you know, you see these tons and tons and tons of uh, webinars at night, hotel rooms on the weekends, yeah. uh, tapes, books, seminars, and functions, you know, going on out there. And there's some really terrific, terrific material being put out there sure. by some very, very good educators. Again, I was one of them, I felt like. I was doing what I was teaching. 
But in the end, very few people become successful in this business. You know, and that was kind of a, I think overall this, our industry has just learned to accept that. That we learned that in order to be, you know, from our end, what we see success, we might have to pump 100 people through sort of educational process. In the end, you know, a small percentage will become successful. Again, because there's this big disconnect of what you hear on stage or reading the book to what you actually do out there in the field. You know, I it's kind of like, and, and everything makes sense, you know, in a book, in a seminar, in a webinar. It, it all just like, okay, I get it. And then you get out there and you're like, well, geez, they told me it's supposed to be green, but it's yellow. Yes. You know, they told me to pay the contractor this, but I can't find one that'll take this. You know, they told me to do comps this, but now these realtors are telling me to do this. And so in the end, this business is, is, is littered with tons and tons of fairly smart, educated people. They've gone to seminars, webinars, they read the books, they've gone to the functions, but not as much success. And so what happened in my, in my world and, and, and why things are gone so great for us with, on, our, on, on our educational piece, it came really out of a need for me. Some time ago, I realized I wanted to do more deals. I wanted to, you know, and I was doing, you know, I own a call center, I have all offices in Georgia, Florida, all the way to California. So I was a pretty big investor, but I wanted to, I wanted, I personally wanted to get to the next level. You wanted to expand. I wanted to expand. I wanted to do more deals is the bottom line. Absolutely. And what happened is, uh, but reality is it's only getting tougher and tougher out there because more and more people are getting in. So the market's getting tough. It's a great, real, it's a great investment market right now to be in. So I was just sheer necessity for myself. I started putting out in my social media, this kind of messaging. And the messaging initially was very simple. Hey, if you got a deal anywhere in the United States and you need help, call us, call me, and I'll give you the money to do the deal, and we'll do the deal together. We'll split the profits in the back end. And I just kind of started toying with this idea on social media. And I tell you what, this idea just took off. I mean, we were getting dozens and dozens and dozens of people inquiring um, yeah. like literally daily, weekly. I mean, it was, it, the idea took off. And then really when it took off to, to hyper mode was when some, something started happening. You know, a lot of times you, well, you know how in business you go in one direction and then you end up in a different direction just by going in one direction. Well, that's what happened here because what started happening over a period of time is the message that we started hearing from the field is this. Mm -hmm. Wow, this looks like an incredible opportunity. I, everyday Joe, or I, investor already that wants to do more deals or whatever, I could do more deals. But the messaging from them started changing. It started saying, well, I do want to partner, but what if I don't know how to find that deal? And so the messaging started going to, from our end on social media, we then started going to, if you want to learn how to find a deal, we'll teach you. We'll partner, we'll help you all the way through the process, we'll still sell it together, and then we'll split the profits. And so what I did in essence, really by accident, is I combined my real estate investment company, my expertise, my money, with my educational business. Excellent. And, and that's when that fit became. So now what happens in our world is this. People start on our educational side, and whether you're a brand new investor, I don't know why these things keep popping out, whether you're a brand new investor, which a lot of our uh, partners are, or some, or you're a more sophisticated investor looking to get up to a food chain, right? Um, what we do is we now, my team gets involved all the way through the process because that's the kind of expertise I bring to the table. Remember, I've been investing all over the nation for 20 years, so I have the ability to do deals everywhere, which is a very unique ability. You know, real estate's really a local business. You know, to be successful. You know, it's really, it's, 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 you know, you should stay local, local, local. But for 20 years, I've learned how to find them across the United States, how to fix them across the United States, how to execute the deals. So now, now the way our program works is this. When people come, uh, become our partners, we teach them. We literally teach them and we get involved with them on finding the deals. Like, well, we, just some of the things we do for them. We, 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 we will look you, up. Will you give us an example, like an actual example of one of your students or something? So let's say student A came to you and say, okay, for example, student A had no background experience in real estate. Yep. Um, and then, of course, again, we hear in the media that real estate is one of the big investments and this is a great asset to own and it's tangible, right? Yep. It's great. Um, but again, it's true. You can read all the books and you can attempt to all these famous 
seminars yep. without you know without announcing anyone's name <laughs> um and then people get out you know really fire up you know they have all this energy they really want to go for it but like you said once they go to the real world they go to the reality and then they start finding these little obstacles right and things are come they kind of just get turned off they're like this is not for me and unfortunately it wasn't it wasn't for them it's just, it's just they didn't have the proper training so let's say student a comes to you and says peter you know i know real estate is fantastic but, you know, again, I've been hearing about all the seminars. I've been attending all these things. I'm really disappointed. How can you help me? And what are the steps? Because you mentioned something that, uh, to me, I think is really important when it comes to uh, investing in real estate, is that you help them find the property. Usually, it, what I have seen in the past is what we call the expression bird dog, which is actually the person is responsible to find in the property. So how do you help in that? They call it, let's call it step number one, if you don't mind, Peter, please. All the way through the process, we treat our coaching clients like our partners. So step number one, the first step in this business, obviously, is marketing. So my marketing team that's helped me to put together over you know, 3,500 deals helps our clients find their deal. So for instance, here's some action things we do. For okay. instance, we'll skip trace all the pre-foreclosures. I'm sorry, we'll identify all the pre-foreclosures in their marketplace. We'll find out which ones have the biggest upside, which ones the ones have the biggest equity. We'll find out who owns them, where they live, what their phone numbers are, and provide that to our partners. Or, or our partner may be driving around out there, we teach them how to drive around and look for some opportunities. They may be driving around out there, find 20 potential deals to go after. All they do is jot down the addresses, email them to my team, my team researches everything, finds out who the owners are, where they live, what their contact number is. So on the marketing side, we provide them with information that they themselves can't get, and many times no one in their marketplace gets. So we immediately elevate them into a playing field where, where no one else is playing in. So, And I'm sorry, does that include what they call ghost properties? And, and I don't know if you know the definition, I'm sure you know the definition of that, because I've been hearing that a lot, If you how to find a ghost property, meaning that sometimes you will not find it in MLS, but yet you can find it in other, in other ways. Is that what you're talking about also part yeah, of it? Yeah, this is literally, you know, first of all, you should never look for a property in MLS. That's, that's, that's <laughs> you know, there, there is no properties to be found. At my level of 3,500 deals, I haven't bought a property off of MLS in the last five years. Is that right, Pete? Yeah, so there are no deals. You know, if you're competing in the world of ML, MLS, FMLS, you're, sp you're spinning your wheels. So, yeah, so we, go, we show them how to go directly to it. It's all about hand-to-hand -hand combat, combat with the owners. So you got So we show them how to get directly to the owners, which is where all the deals are. Which is if you want to have any longevity, any chance of making in this business beyond just getting lucky, that's where you got to be. So we help them all the way through the marketing team, the marketing process. Then when the deals identify, I put 100% of my money into the deal, which means they have no out-of-pocket expenses. I put up the earn, up earnest money. I put up the purchase money, the rehab money, any carrying costs. If there's any carrying costs, insurance, taxes, you name it. It's all on me. Right the way, by the way, that right there is the key component to, to what I do. I was about to bring that up right now, but I wanted you to go deeper on that. Well, place. there is, but this is the key. I'm the only guy out there, kind of the so-called guru world, that's gonna put his money where his mouth is. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how much I believe in what we do. I'm gonna provide, because look, this business, it's very simple. It comes down to two things, expertise and money. Most people don't have one or the other, but majority don't have either. So here, what's happening is you're piggybacking off of my experience and you're using my money, okay? And best, guess what? If a mistake does ever happen, it's on me. It's on me because I'm absorbing all the losses. Then my team steps in after we buy the property and we help the, <clears throat> our partner fix the property. Then we help them sell it and we split the profits 50-50. And that right there is basically our partner-driven coaching program. So my team, in essence, become my partner's team. You know, my CEO becomes their CEO. My closer, Mary, becomes their closer. My admin girls become their admin people. So it's like literally our partners are stepping into a company that's 20 years in the making, by the way, that I'm paying the payroll for. But where I win in this whole thing is I want to do more deals. So this gives me the ability to do more deals, to grow, to expand, to, re to expand my reach, expand my footprint. And obviously it goes without saying the benefit to our partners across the United States. So, you know, <clears throat> really, in, in my opinion, you know, and I, and I talk about this a lot, 
this is a near perfect operation for somebody either getting started, somebody that's been started already but struggling, somebody that started doing well but they want to get to the next level, so they need more capital, they need more expertise, they need maybe a bigger team around them. You know, th this this is, is, as far as I know, this is as good as it gets in this business. It sounds like it, absolutely, Peter. And again, like I said, I, I, I myself, I mean, like I said, I've been in the real estate uh, industry now for quite a few years. It's one of my favorite niches because I do help many clients you know, with situations sometimes not only in advisory, but cost integration, which is a different term and things like that in, you know, 1031 exchanges, right, and all that. Um, so your, your expertise come more where, whether you're new coming into the market or whether you really have done a few deals, but this time you don't want to do it on your own. You want to have that kind of support. You want to have that kind of team backing you up and saying, hey, you know, this is what you know, we believe it's going to help, right? And I think that's where you come so handy because sometimes we could be very good in what we do, uh, but sometimes we just need more confidence. We need more assurance. Someone that can look at the same thing and maybe they might see something different that we just can't see with our own eyes. There's no question. Whether you're getting started, whether you're looking at, or, or if you're doing a strategy, maybe, you know, you're a wholesaler. And now you don't want to, you know, you don't want to wholesale your whole life because the you know, big profits are made on the fix and flips. So now a lot of wholesalers work with us because they don't have maybe the necessary capital, necessary expertise to, to fix a deal, you know, fix and flip a deal all the way through. So yeah, we literally work with them all the way through the process. So we've taken, heck, I've taken 21 year old kids making $1,500 a month um, and done deals with them, you know, taking single moms and done deals with them, taking immigrants that, Literally a couple of years ago, we're working in a carnival in the United States because they had just immigrated here and done multiple deals with them. So yeah, it is it is really, 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 really cool. And again, what, what the, the great thing to me is now I have, I have an unlimited supply of source of deals, literally. So this is great for me, and it's obviously great for our partners because they have, again, somebody to piggyback their experience, uh, their life experience, and somebody to whose money they could use. So it's literally a win-win model in my opinion. That's incredible. And now all this training, because you're located in Georgia, is that what you said, Peter? Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I believe that you also go a step further where you, in some of those properties, you actually go to the States and you actually look at those properties too. Is that correct, Peter? Well, so the training is done just like we're doing right now, technology, interaction, even if you're in Atlanta, you don't need, we don't need, you're going to waste your time to come to our office, the drive time. And that's crazy. So my team is constantly daily talking to you, strategizing with you and all this. But yeah, sometimes, and this is really just for the fun of it. Um, some of our newer clients or somebody who's maybe doing one, their first deal or so with me, I'll actually jump on a plane, fly out there. We hang out and it's just, it's, it's just, it's a it's nice just experience. Fun. Yeah, like it's that. just an experience. We hang out, we spend a day together, maybe grab a cigar or something somewhere, chat. You know, they get to know me, I get to know them and uh, stuff like that. It's really more for fun. I like that. That's good. That's good because that, that's support too. There you go. So you're supporting them too in the first year. That's awesome. Um, so what would you say is, is, is the, 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 the training itself? So everything is done online. Um, no, it's not like we're doing right now. We're done through telephones, this, you know, no, no, you know, online books, tapes, seminars, they don't work. It's general. Word directly. My CEO is talking to you directly. My closer is talking to you directly. My admin girls are researching for you specifically. I'm talking to you directly. It's real life, real time, which is the only way to build this business. You know, it's again, it is coaching, but really it's partnering. It's partnering. It's true partnership. It's doing deals. It's earn while you're, you know, it's earn while you learn. So let's, let's do a little scenario, if you don't mind here. Let's do a little play role here. So right. if I'm... Um, I'm a future student of yours, and I want to um, get into your coaching uh, program, or however you want to call it, mentoring. Um, I will enroll, I guess, in your course, right, and say, hey, Peter, you know what? I would love to learn from a girl like yourself, and I, don't, I'm gonna, I want to try to avoid many of the mistakes that I would do on my own. Um, so guess what? And since you're putting the money, <laughs> you know, I, I really feel I'm really just putting my time so you market uh, certain areas that I might be living nearby and then I can just go physically and visit those properties and look at, would that be like? Yeah, well, yeah, you always, no matter what, where you are in this business, you always want to start out local because locally you could see it, feel it, touch it, smell it. 
you know, react quickly, learn hands-on and all this. So yes, we're always going to start working locally to that person, to where they are. Absolutely. Okay. So in this case, the person will go and visit the property, look at it, take a few pictures perhaps, send it back to you. And then from there you determine whether or not this might be a, you know, a good investment. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. We show them how to look at them, how to evaluate them. We're in real life time responding back to them, show them how to expect it, comp it, all of that. So even though I'm a partner of theirs, on the back end, after a year, they come out a very savvy investor. By the way, the goal is not just to have a one-year relationship. No, of you course know, That's how long the coaching lasts. The goal, we have, you know, we have individuals we've helped years and years ago that are still working with us. You know, that initial 12 months is really used as a launching pad to long-term partnerships, long-term relationships. Excellent. No, and it's great because, again, I think that, uh, you know, a partnership is something that works very well when both parties are very clear on what they're going to get out of it. <laughs> and I think that's what the communication is. It has to be a clear communication. There has to be a very good understanding. Um, and the fact, again, that you put in your money, you put in your resource with all the marketing and everything else, and the students really going out there and saying, okay, let me look at the property. Let me, you know, have a good idea to whether or not this might be something that's going to be a good interest, you know, good investment, right? Um, now, so somebody who be, who's listening to this podcast, or as you know, this is also a webcast uh, through my YouTube channel. And I believe you have your own YouTube channel. Is that right, Peter? I do. I do. All somebody has to do is go to my, I'm sure you love my name displayed somewhere, but all somebody has to do is just uh, put my name in a search engine in YouTube and they'll find over 600 videos by me. Wow, that's fantastic. That's really good. Okay, great. Um, so do you have a Facebook group or something that your, 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 your students get together? And, and that's how yep, they yep. We also have a Facebook group for our, for our partners to interact and, and all of that. So they're not just interacting with us, they're interacting with them. It's actually called Partner Driven something. Driven real estate investing. And once you join, a, 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 obviously, a, a, as a member, then you, you, you're entitled to, to join that group. Well, no, you got to, you know, you go through, a, that's just a Facebook page. But uh, once somebody wants to sign up as a coaching client, we talk to them, we get on the same page with them, and then off we go. Okay. And, um, you know, uh, Peter, what would you suggest someone, like I said, that is getting into the real estate and thinks they can do it on their own without having this coaching? Well, it's hard. I mean, look, I did it that way. Uh, no, no bones about it. In six months in a business, I had lost, literally lost half a million dollars. Never to be seen, never to be recouped. I wasn't over leveraged. This was just money that was, you know, gone. Boy. You know, it's look, the, in, in, I think you mentioned this. This is a business with a huge, huge upside, but also a devastating downside. And that, that, you know, you could sneeze the wrong way in this business and lose uh, $10,000. So look, so he, here's the reality. I think somebody who wants to be in this business 100% needs to get in this business. I love this business. I've had multiple businesses before this business. I will tell you, put them all together, multiply some 1,000. That's what this business is all about. You know, if I knew 20 years ago how good it's going to be, you know, it's, it's, you know, what time is it? It's, we started at 4 o'clock Eastern. Guess what time I showed up at the office today? 3.55. And, and, and guess what? You know, we did deals today. I mean, when you do this business, you set up the right way to align. And the reason I did that is because a couple weeks ago, I was uh, at a certain part of Atlanta that I've never been to. I showed up there on Sunday night. I went to dinner there. And I said, this is the most unbelievable thing. I can't believe I lived here 20 years. I've never, I've never even knew this existed. And I said, I'm going to live here. And by Thursday, I got a place there. I mean, that's cool to be able to do that. And so I hung out there the whole day today. I did the gym there. I worked out there. Okay, My yeah. dad came up there. We had lunch together. I mean, this is a this is a killer business. Upside, financial, lifestyle, and all this. Now, would I recommend somebody get in this by themselves? If that's the only option they have, and uh, yeah, then it's worthy struggling for. You know, I never say be be, af be afraid of anything. So, but I will tell you, this is the one business that it does make sense to invest into a coach, into a mentor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could, you know, you could do basket weaving and guess what? You make a mistake in basket weaving, you'll be fine. You know, right. you, you could start a dry cleaning. You screw up someone's shirt, you'll be fine. You buy some, you buy a house wrong. You know, you, you might not be fine. It might not be a recoverable mistake. We're not talking about, 
you know, $500 losses, a couple thousand dollar losses, you know, we're talking about astronomical losses. So if there's no other option, get in it, you know, connect with some local investors, maybe go apprentice for them uh, where you live, offer to work for them without char without charging them. Good way to absorb things, good way to learn things. But I could tell you, you know, in terms of connecting. It's, it's, it's a tough deal. It really is. I think so, too. I agree with you on that, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's the way to do it. But, but getting on the shoulders of someone who's more successful, been there, done that, seen the challenges, experienced them, that, that's really the way to do it. Yeah. And one of the things that's interesting, I want to kind of, you know, uh, touch again, is the fact that you take them through the whole process. Um, mm -hmm. and I think that's really important because what I noticed about some of these programs myself, I noticed them, is that they might provide maybe the funding and then you still have to pay them an interest, right? Like those are hard, hard lenders, what they call, right? Hard money. Hard lenders, yeah. And, you know, you have to pay some money up front. They're not going to lend me the money for nothing. Um, and then in a situation where the interest are extremely high, in this case, you're, you're putting your money, like you said, out there. So you really have enough confidence and you trust on your abilities and your experience that you know that this is going to work. Otherwise, you wouldn't do that. You know, we could spend 20 hours talking about what you just said, but you, that is so true. Some people say, well, gosh, I don't want to, you know, invest into a mentor, into a coach. You know, uh, I'm just going to go borrow some money. Okay, good luck. Go borrow some money. On a hundred thousand dollar property, if you need to borrow that, be ready. Be ready across the nation to fund that deal to a tune of somewhere between twenty to twenty-five thousand up front, and then carry the rehab all the way through till 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 you can get reimbursed. So easily in a hundred thousand dollar deal, if you're borrowing money, easily be ready to be you know out of pocket at any point in time, anywhere from twenty to forty thousand dollars. Absolutely. You know, and that's the yeah. lender's not going to help you just like that. Play. They're not gonna be. They're not gonna do anything for you other than charge you a ton of money. You know. So yeah, you're right. When you start analyzing and looking at how we do it and what we do, it's an absolutely no brainer. Absolutely no brainer. It is not a no brainer. Uh, Peter, uh, is there a limitation? I must ask you. Just like if the audience would be out there asking you right now if they had the opportunity. Is there a restriction per uh, area or, or neighborhood or zip code or anything that you have where there's so many people or so many students that you're going to be working on the territory? Is there any limitation? No, there's no need for that. Oh my God. No, that's like saying, you know, we're only going to put one McDonald's in into Florida. <laughs> okay. No, just, just wondering. No, that. no, there's no need to do that. None whatsoever. All right, so the first uh, thing that uh, people need to understand is if they want to contact you is the initial, I guess, consultation discovery call, as we call it, uh, figuring out whether they might be a good fit for you and vice versa, correct? And then from that, what will be the next step? I mean, uh, your, your mentoring program uh, works in a, a one-time investment or they can pay monthly? Do you yeah, we, we have different options for them. We have different options. Okay. You know, the best thing to do, they can just go to my website, www.coachingbypeter.com. Okay. Uh, get a bunch of information there, see a bunch of successful people. They can even call me directly at area code 404-915-9685, and then we'll you know get the process rolling with them. Excellent. And one last question here, Peter. Um, live events, anything coming up uh, that you might want to share with the audience um, that you might have? Um, are you putting this out right away? Um, probably this is not going to come live probably in a couple of weeks, but definitely. Be okay. I know I'm going to be in LA next weekend. Um, but oh. since you're not, so that'll be probably time they listen to it. They won't see it. Um, I'm always somewhere, you know, if they go to coaching by Peter.com or if they want to touch base with me, like I said, at 404-915-9685, we'll steer in the right direction. Excellent. Well, thank you, Peter, for your time. I really appreciate it. And for sharing your knowledge. Um, I always believe that it's one of the things that, you know, I always bring to the show is experts like yourself that can really truly help people, um, you know, to make savvy decisions because like you said, I mean, real estate, uh, you can make a lot of money, but you can lose a lot of money too. Uh, so watch out people. Thank you so much, Peter. Um, you already provided your contact information and folks, if you're really serious about getting into real estate, as I always say, there's nothing better than having a good mentor. Uh, really helping you, you know, step by step uh, in avoiding some of the headaches that, you know, sometimes could be avoidable. Really, that's the truth. So, Peter, I wish you a lot of success. Thank you so much. Um, and again, to everyone out there, my folks, like, share, and comment. And remember that Peter has his YouTube channel too. So for those who are watching the interview, go ahead and watch his channel too, because I'm sure there's a lot of valuable information there, Peter.
Thank you, Peter. And I will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye -bye. Appreciate it.